when does that get redefined? What do you mean? Well, an author is somebody who's published. That's, that's right. the definition. Well, are you published if something appears on the internet? Well, that's a good question. In the <laughs> traditional sense, probably not. But as far as Google's concerned, we're talking SEO here, folks. Uh, yeah. Google is looking for people to have multiple legitimate articles in places. Okay, and what about, what about illegitimate articles? Well, those are, you know, shine, those are looked down upon. And sort of political correctness. Welcome to the Vintner series, November 2011 of the Wine of the Month Club. My name is Ed Massiana, and fortunately I'm here because otherwise you'd have to put up with Bobblehead. <laughs> it's the baseball season and World Series. Yeah, I know. I know. And Look at this guy. It looks like Kirk Gibson, isn't it? <laughs> 1988, number 10. Yeah, if it was Kirk Gibson, he'd be down on one knee. He's like. <laughs> Hey, uh, this is uh, this is really fun. Um, this is my old buddy, Mitch Cosentino, yeah. who who I knew thirty something years ago when he had a wholesale operation in Fresno, California. Then he became a big deal Napa Valley winemaker. Ooh. Well, he paired up with Fred Couples. He uh -huh. coupled up with Fred Couples. That's cute. And uh, the professional golfer, and they made this whole line of wines, which are very good. Uh, rather overpriced in their retail environment. You mean twenty eight dollars for this wine is too yeah, much money? That's what they want. And wait till you see the Cabinet Chard, but. Uh, we were able to secure the wine and get it to the mm, wine wow. and but you can buy more for thirteen ninety nine. But you can buy it for twenty eight if you want somewhere else. It's up to you. But isn't it, you know what I liked about it? Spice. It's a California Sangiovese, but it's got some Chianti. It's got some spiciness it? to it. That's very um, well. It's sort of Chianti like, but it's got that kind of richness that you get from California that mm -hmm. you, you don't often get from from Chianti. But it's a delicious wine. Yeah, it's got more fruit than Chianti does, but it's got that spicy, and the nose has got that sort of old world, but. Mm -hmm. The palate is new world for sure. It's uh, it's it's certainly coming together too, and it's 2006, so it's got a little bit of age on it. It's already, gosh, it's already five years old, and that's that's the I color think, is classic, good. isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is so. This is Fred Couples, the the professional golfer. He's got his own brand. You know, everybody wants to be like Greg Norman. That's the key. You've all seen Greg Norman's wine on the shelf. We actually featured the Petit Sirah here. And it makes good quality wines at a good price. Fabulous. Really, they really good. We all thought that they're going to sell the amount of cases he does, which he sells in the hundreds of thousands of cases a year. And it doesn't work because they don't realize that it takes good value. I always well, wanted to be I always wanted to be Paul Callum Carey Jr. Well, that's great value. It really, really is. But I'm giving, that's great value. Fabulous. And I'm giving it a 93 and mm -hmm. $13.99 on the reorder price. 94 for me. Fine. I like I like golf. <laughs> well, don't we all? All right. Yeah. When, was it, when, you, when are you going to get out there and bat the ball around a little bit? I had. <laughs> I think I had a dream about playing tennis again. I haven't played tennis since the old days. That would be a dream or a nightmare. So here's the uh, here's the Murray's Barn Pinot Gris, which we did the Murray's Barn Sauvignon Blanc in, uh, in the classic in, in the series. classic series, but uh, the Pinot Gris, of course, being a little more. Uh, obscure grape for that part of the world, and I love the nose. But I'll of this. tell you, yeah, these awesome. the we've we've done three Pinot Gris now from New Zealand. This is the third. They are all fantastic, and they're not Pinot Grigio though. They're, they're no, no, this no. has got a really rich, I don't know, mineral nose in that. Is that what I'm getting? Sort of a melon, mm. cute lychee thing. Wow, you know this is a, this is a great grape. I mean, Pinot Grigio is thought to be kind of an ordinary grape because it's it's so prolific in Italy. But the fact is, it's the same grape as Pinot Gris in Alsace, and that is a very highly revered grape. You know and this is more like that. That's right. It has more Alsatian than, than its counterparts from Italy, for sure. That is, absolutely. Cold weather in Marlborough or what? Well, I, it's probably a little bit of both the cold weather and, or cooler weather, and, and the soil. But you know what this reminds me of is that, that uh, painted man Pinot Grigio that oh, we did, yeah, that I did right, from, from Washington. Washington. That was, you know, it's got that, that, that grip in the mouth yep. that's just delicious. Really good. 2010. Um, it is twenty-two dollars on the shelf. Again, uh, this wine came in for a restaurant, so there really was no retail benchmark. But that's what you know they're saying. That's what it would have worked backwards from the wine list, and it's eleven ninety-nine. Eleven ninety-nine is killer for that it, price. It, yeah, <laughs> really, really killer wine. I'm, I'm giving it a ninety-five. I think I'll it's give just it a ninety-four, just to be different. But it's worth ninety-five. You know what I'm saying? No, I have no idea what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking no, about I, I don't know. concept for you. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, now. This is this is great. This is really a good bottle of wine. It's Garnacha, you know. It's just it's absolutely spectacular stuff. Passion, 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 passion. Garnacha. Yeah. Well, we've done a couple of Spanish Garnachas lately, uh, right? Well, yeah, and they're they're out this of this is world. Langle. and and Langa. You know, and, and and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. 
Garnacha, mm. Grenache, that's the grape that's going to be grown in California in the next 10 years. Like, you will not believe it. Calipide. And they're going, they're going nuts with it in Paso. I mean, they're just, everything's Grenache up there now because it's so good. Grenache and Morvedra. It's 100% uh, Grenache and it's from Calatayud, Spain. And it's got 14% uh, alcohol, which isn't bad. But what I love is they put red wine here. And I think a lot of people would see that and go, oh, red wine, that, you know. Well, it's a legal thing. It's they a legal to. thing, right? They have to do it. Or if they put table wine, Americans think that table wine is a designation and is not in America. Well, that's true. Yeah, it just it just has to do with the alcohol content. But the uh, table wine in, in the United States means it's under 14%. Mm. You know what I liked about this one? I remember now is it didn't jump out at you with all these berries that are over the top that you get sometimes with garnacha. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Powers. I think it's got some well, great it's berries it. in that there. It's got that blueberry jam in there, but... Mm. It's got some acid behind. It's got some real. It's got some tannic uh, components in there. It 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 comes off like you know big you know fruit bomb, but then it it holds back. I mean, great food wine. Can you imagine this with a charred steak, oh. you know, or, or or lamb leg or something? Wow, I'm I'm. I'm you know gonna, what? Last night Sandra made a ginger, uh, soy pork roast, and this the pork it was really, it would have worked really well. Sorry. I'm, I'm glad you were a member of that conversation, boys and girls. I'm giving this a 95. I think it's out of this world. Five. I absolutely love it. And for 11, uh, what is it, 12.99 a reorder price? Yep. $18 killer. on the shelf, 12.99 for more. And uh, it's just a really good bottle of wine. Yep. All right. And last but I'm not concerned. least, what Vida Organica Torantes. Now, Organic Torantes 09. A little chance to develop in the bottle. Look at the color. In Toronto, we love here, but they can be kind of disjointed and uh, over tropical. And this one, being organic, has got a sort of subdued nose. I think it's opening up now. Mm, so are you. That's great. Mm. You know, you get that organic. Wow. The that nose almost, is really close. It, it almost tastes like there's Sauvignon Blanc in there. You know, yeah. it's got a little, a little grassiness, a little herbal component. It does. You know, I just realized the nose... It's got a greenness to it. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, um, you don't get that in the palate. Too this is this is a really good wine to have with with lighter style foods versus most Tarantes, which is it can be over like you said, overly flowery, overly unctuous, and this is reserved and it's got some good this acidity really in the fun. finish. This is going to open in a glass as well, and this is uh, organic. And look like the uh, I can't tell if it's organically. Yes, the winery's organic as well. Yeah, right. They're the no. It says made from organic grapes. Made okay, from so, organic grapes. So the the, the vineyard's managed as organic vineyard, but the winery itself is not certified as organic. And sometimes that's a good thing because they run it like an organic winery. Mm -hmm. But there's certification issues that you don't want to have sometimes because you can't do other things. But they run it like an organic winery. So, uh, so there's di there's a difference between the designation. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Ed. It's great to have you. I'm giving it. it a 92. I love the fact that it's 11.99. Mm. It's organic. What else do you want? You know, it's got sort of a paint, a wet paint smell to it. Wet paint is not a good term to use mm. to describe a wine. Mm. That's not a bad thing. I think it's more dry paint myself. Yeah. yeah like I, Navajo white. Or Navajo white, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that was the, the color of the 70s. Jeez. There it is, Vintner <laughs> Series 2011 for November. See you next month.